This is Bones Rodriguez, and let me tell you how to fix your broke mentality. Listen, when I was first getting out of school, when I first got out of college, my broke mentality stopped me from understanding that there were opportunities everywhere. It seemed like the only way that I was going to be a success in life is if somebody hired me, and for some reason, they were gonna give me enough money so I could do something. I could go and become wealthy and rich. It didn't even occur to me to attempt to become uh, wealthy and rich because I didn't see a clear path. And that is part of the broke mentality. There are a couple things that make up a broke mentality, okay? Number one is not understanding that there are opportunities everywhere, that almost everything is an opportunity for you to become wealthy. If you think that's not true, it's because you have a broke mentality. <laughs> and look, I used to have it. There are degrees of broke mentality, right? Some people will take a look at some opportunity, some way to do something, some way to make something better, and they'll create an entire business, a whole thing around it. Look, Richard Branson was stuck in an airport and nobody could get on some plane. Their fl his flight was canceled along with a whole bunch of other people. He decided to charter a plane, get paid from all the other people who wanted to take that plane and boom, that's how we started Virgin Airline. Because he took a problem, made a solution and asked people if they wanted to pay for it. That's completely out of my realm of mentality, right? And it might be part of yours. So there are opportunities everywhere. How can you take advantage of the opportunities around you by finding a solution and then finding who else wants to pay for that solution? It might be nobody. Look, when I first got started, I found something online, how to build a business online and I was an actor and I thought, wow, every actor in the world is gonna wanna learn this because who hates waiting tables and watching babies walking dogs? Actors would rather be free to go on auditions. So when I found it for myself, I was shocked to find that not everybody else wanted to. I had grown in my mentality from broke to not as broke. I like to say that I'm on my way to a wealthy mentality because I think everyone is still working on how to do things better, how to create better solutions. Jeff Bezos started Amazon and he was just selling books online. And now look at Amazon, it's insane, right? That mentality of his went from one thing to the next. What other solutions can I put on top of this? What other solutions? Thinking in solutions is a way to break out of your broke mentality. A lot of people with a broke mentality will sit there and be like, oh, well, it didn't work. And that's that. <clears throat> I'm stuck here, a lot of people feel stuck in life. Part of breaking free of a broke mentality and how to get to a more wealthy mentality is finding solutions and taking action. That is number two. Even when you can find a solution or somebody offers one to you, a lot of people with a broke mentality will feel it's useless and not bother starting. Somebody with an open mentality, a wealthy mentality, they are more likely to start taking action. One of the things we talk about here at solopreneurschool.com is changing your broke mentality. And one of the things that I had to learn was that the only difference between what you have and what you want is applied knowledge. Now listen, it's not just knowledge and it's not just action. It is applied knowledge. So when we go to school, we go, we get knowledge, we take a test, check off, and we move on to the next thing. In real life, you have to apply the knowledge that you have. As I was saying, the second thing you need to change your broke mentality is to apply some knowledge. It's not enough just to read a book on how to build a business or how to make money or how to lose weight or how to find a love interest. It's not enough just to get the knowledge. You have to apply the knowledge. I find when a lot of people come to solopreneurschool.com, they really want an opportunity. Oh man, I can't wait to make money online. People will talk about it all the time and they'll get the information and they'll be like, well, now I know how and wonder why they have no results. Wonder why they have no money. And I gotta tell you, I did that too. A lot of like, oh, I got this course and I watched all 10 videos and never did what it said. And if I did, I would take like just a little bit of action. The results did didn't come yet, so I would give up too easy. And that's another thing people do. They give up too easily. Number three, to change your broke mentality is to not give up so easily. It's fine to have inertia and be moving and change course. All that's great, but a lot of people give up way too easily. We took the kids ice skating the other day. There were some other kids there, and for some kids it was their first time, some kids it was their second, third. We heard a lot of different stories. One kid fell immediately, and they 
were done. Listen, the kid was done ice skating for life. You could tell this kid wasn't ice skating because they weren't gonna like be in the Olympics right away. But the other kids, a lot of them fell, they got back up. We prepared kids to understand that, hey, listen, anytime you do something, the first couple times, it's going to be terrible. The first few times you do something, anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly at first. A lot of people with broke mentality would be like, if something's worth doing, it's worth doing perfectly. And it just doesn't work because you can never do it perfectly. In fact, that's another thing. Number four, one of the ways to make sure that you stay broke is to try to do it perfectly. Well, look, trying is great, but giving up because you didn't do it perfectly, that is a problem. Working to do something better and better is the only option to you because the second you do something, you'll realize that when you do it the next time, you can do it a little better. There's no such thing as doing something as best as you can, except that you'll do it as best as you can at that moment. If you do it, once you do something, you'll realize that you can do it better the next time. I gotta tell you, I'm relying on someone to edit this video really well. I have made mess ups along the way and continued to just stop and be like, mm, wait, I'm gonna do that again. This whole video has been me <laughs> saying something and then like, oh, having to go back and the lighting is not perfect. A lot of things in this very video that I am making right now are not perfect. But as I make more and more videos, they get more and more perfect, more, a lot better. Some of my older videos are better because I have better setups and whatever. The fact that I'm taking action is how I know and I hope you know that is a way to break through your broke mentality. Another way to break through your broke mentality is to not need to oversell something. If someone's in a business, oftentimes if you come from regular life and come into business ownership or solopreneurship, you'll have this desire to like oversell something. It's the greatest thing ever. It's better than 10 Super Bowls. <laughs> you know, you can't do that because ultimately people will be disappointed because you've built something up so much. You want to under promise and over perform. I used to at first when I was like 18, I'd be like, oh yeah, baby, you come on with me and it'll be fun. Aunt, it'll be the greatest thing ever. I'm not gonna say it wasn't. I'm sure that uh, it's been better. It used to be before I got married. I got to the point where I was like underselling coming home with me at the end of the night, right? You gotta undersell it because you, you gotta undersell it so that you can overperform. Does that make sense? Come on, come on, you know what I'm saying. There are a lot of ways to get through your broke mentality, but I wanted to make sure I listed a few of these. If you'd like to get more information, come on over to solopreneurschool.com where you can graduate yourself to freedom. I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.